Hey guys, this is Eric Weingarner with Weingarner Racing. It is Saturday, so it's an update video day. Um, in this video, I'm gonna talk about all the projects that are going on and what's the status on them. So this video is probably more um, audio than it is visual for sure. So you probably could just play this and just walk away and just listen to it on your earphones or whatever else than you could actually seeing stuff. But we'll go ahead and start with the elephant in the room. Several of you, and I don't blame you, Want to know the results from the S10 going to the track? Well, I did go to the track, and I'll go ahead and tell you, I'm going to make that whole video, and it's going to be out on Monday. So look for that one on Monday. You might say, why aren't you doing it now? I haven't had time to put that all together because a lot happened. But since you're watching this, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, it went three-tenths faster than it ever did before. So it's, it's now the fastest it's ever gone. So you can go look back if you want to figure out how fast that was before and do the math. But a lot happened with it, so... Uh, Anyway, uh, we got to, uh, uh, you know, I got to make a whole video on that. So what's happening next for that? So here's some little, get you a little sneak previews on the truck or things. One, uh, the supercharger is right now at Torque Storm. I got to send it back to get rebuilt. So that's another reason why you should probably watch the video on Monday to figure out why. It wasn't nothing on Torque Storm's part, by the way. Um, but anyway, sent that back to get rebuilt. When it gets back, uh, the guy that works for me, Trent Dugan, Although he's been so busy with his first full-time job that he hasn't had a whole lot of time to work in the shop. So don't fault him on that. He just hasn't been here. He's really busy with his first job. But his family owns a chassis dyno in McAllister, Oklahoma. So I think what I'm going to do is after the supercharger gets back, I'm going to load up the truck and we're going to go put E85 in it. And we're going to go um, chassis dyno that with that to get the tune right. And then, of course, make another trip to the track. I don't know when. And I'm being straight up honest with you because I hate when YouTube channels keep building you and building you and do video after video of the buildup, the buildup, the buildup, the buildup, and then it never happens. I hate being that. So I'm telling you that's going to be a while because when you listen to all the other projects, you'll understand. Um, truly, you'll get it. But it will happen. There's no doubt. I just don't. There's a lot of things because McAllister is about two and a half hours away from here and I also have to work with their schedule, which they're more than willing to work with that me on that. But also, I want to get a hold of Scott Clark and see if I can't get him to remote in. So if I'm having some problems when I'm trying to tune the EFI, that he'll be I can get a hold of him and get that all taken care of. I just don't want to waste time, in other words. And then back to the track. The bad part is every day that the S10 is not at the track on the weekend, the temperatures are getting hotter here and it's getting more miserable. And so that consequently it also slows down ETs. To the next project. This came in actually when I was loading up the truck last week. You know, like, what is this? This is a Trick Flow. That's a 280. This is the big block Chevy head, but it's their oval port head. I have never tested this head. I'm going to flow it, of course, obviously. But this will end up going on the, the 540 big block dyno mule. So for those that don't know, you can watch my previous videos on that. Because that's one of the other projects that's being worked on now, too. So the update on that is, it's there. I probably... It's probably either going to be the next dyno session I do or the following one after that. The thing we're going to do on that, talked about it before, it's oil testing. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change out the spur gear oil pump, put in the gear rotor. Then I'm going to switch oil pans and do that. Then, hopefully I got time in that same dyno session, I port match the 2896 intake manifold. We'll pop that on there and make some dyno runs. Hopefully I can find a bigger carburetor test at that same point too because I really think that I'll jump it up. At that point, those heads will come off. The AFR, not these heads, the AFR 385s will go on, and we're going to redo um, that test and see how much more power they make. Hopefully, I'll have more intakes around to test at that point, and we can see what happens with that. That'd be kind of cool. I'd really like to have a tunnel ram uh, to test because, you know, I'm all about tunnel rams. I think it'd make quite a bit of power. After that, chances are I'm going to switch to these heads, these old ports, and you're like, why? Why? I want to see, and this is me being crazy stupid, I want to see how much power I can make with a set of oval port heads. So obviously these 385s are going to crush it. And even when I port the Pro Maxes, which are rectangular ports that are on there now, it's it's probably going to be one of the better ones too. It's going to crush probably the AFRs just because of compression. But um, I want to see how much total power I can make with oval port heads. So I've got the Pro Max 290s here, obviously, but I've got these. So I'm going to dyno test these completely stock first, and then I'll start making some changes. So that's a video for that. So that's where the big block's going. Maybe with the 385s are on, if things kind of line up, which I'm not saying that they will, I might actually put my 1071 supercharger on it because that's another project. If you follow my channel, you'll know I have a 477 big block Chevy and it's got, it's got getting a 1071 root style supercharger. 
Dunsworth is building it. Gary Dunsworth in Enid, Oklahoma, where I do all the dynoing. He's dynoing it, and he's building the engine. The, the short block's together. The heads are sitting there. I have been waiting on rockers since October. And a company said, oh, I'll give you a set. And I don't fault them for this. I just wish they had let me know because I, I've been waiting, and I made Gary wait, which is even worse to me. But anyway, a company was supposed to have sent a set of shaft rockers so I could do dyno testing. Well, uh, every month it was, yeah, getting them done. Now, granted, they were given for free, so I can't complain about something to get for free, and I'm not. But after like three months, I said, look, I totally get it if you can't do it. I, it, I get it. I truly do because um, you're giving away free product. I get it. I just need to know because if you can't, I'm just going to order a set. Because rockers, for those that don't know, if you're trying to get shaft rockers, you're at least a month wait. At least. And right now is the busiest time, so it's a longer wait. So he's like, no, I promise this thing's going forward. It shouldn't be but another couple weeks. And then, so a couple weeks, same thing. A couple months, same thing. And then like a week ago, he's like, I'm a thousand percent sure it's going to ship. It just didn't. So I finally had enough. And it's not, again, not his problem and it's not his fault. But I'm only saying this because the 477 should already been dynoed in the Camaro and I should be making passes in it right now. I end up ordering a set of Crower shaft rockers, some steel ones for that. So that's the reason why the... 477 root style supercharger engine isn't done is because I'm waiting on one thing, the rockers. So because it's not done and now I'm, this is the problem. I ordered my Crower shaft rockers. It's four to six week wait, which really means eight to 12 weeks because every company lies about their wait times with rockers, except for Jessel. They're pretty good. Would you like, why didn't you get Jessels? Uh, Crowers were about $2,200, which is expensive. Now they're steel though. Um, Jessels were 2100 for the aluminum. And I'm like, well, what about the steel on the exhaust side? $2,800. So I called T&D. They're the same price. So I was like, I'll just do Crower and get steel everywhere, whatever. Um, they were cheaper anyway. And that's with a um, the DLC coated uh, tip on the roller. So a much better deal anyway. So anyway, that's why reason why the 477 blower motor is not together. But because it's got some time there's a chance the blower won't be on the 477 so i can maybe put it on the 540 and just play you know with the 385s that'd be kind of cool will it go in the car that way uh, probably not i could though because it's the same oil pan and everything i probably won't just because it's going to mess up testing when i do these so i don't know i really want my 477 done that's what i want Anyway, so that's the big block ones. Now for the LS, because that's why these are here. These are stock 823 heads. So when I had zero free time this week, um, I were I was working on these. And this is just an 823 heads. I actually flowed them completely stock. I have since redid the valve job. And you see the grind marks here. That's just me blending it in. And don't worry, I'll do a whole video on this. So these heads are getting freshened, like you said. Um, just new valves. It's going to get um, a valve spring kit obviously and this is going the 408 ls engine and that one's a really cool project so let me explain what's happening with that uh, a guy donated a to test he didn't give it to me a texas speed camshaft a hydraulic roller one so we're going to test that camshaft in there and we're going to do it with three different sets of heads we've got these 823s that i've just rebuilt so they're stock you know pretty much and then i've got a set of pro max small bore ls3 heads and then i've also got on order which I'm waiting for them to come in too, even though they said they had them in stock whenever I ordered, was a set of AFR LS3 enforcer heads. And we're gonna test them all three on that camshaft. But it gets even better than that because last week, at the end of the week, a guy contacted me and said, hey, could you test the Truck Norris camshaft with those? I said, well, I'm not, I don't really wanna buy it because I've got a camshaft as it is. And he said, I'll buy it. So he bought the camshaft and the springs to go with that. So on these three, time permitting, because this is going to be an expensive dyno bill, I can already tell you for me. Um, on all three heads, we're going to test the two camshafts on those as well. So we have a truck Norris and that Texas Speed. I'm also trying to do this. I, as you guys know, I have that Vortex supercharger here. I'm going to test on the LS as well. If I can get enough time, I'm going to do the NA test on those with the two cams and also put on the Vortex Supercharger so I could see what the boost does on each set of cylinder heads because you know, LS guys say stupid stuff and one of the stupid things that they say is, you don't need to worry about the head, just add more boost. So we can actually test that theory with the three different heads, which would be kind of neat. However, I don't want to say that's going to happen because a day on the dyno is about seven to $800. So just to switch the three heads, I'm going to tell you at least two days. 
it may bump into three with the supercharger. So you do the math on how much money that costs. From a business standpoint, I only allocate a certain amount of money to go towards dyno testing because it's out of my pocket. Everybody thinks I'm making all this money on um, YouTube. It's just not the case at all. It just isn't. The only reason why the dyno tests happen is because people are buying books. The My dyno books, they're buying those um, and the memberships. That's the reason why the engines even exist. So probably 30% of that money that I've spent on the engines has come from those. The other 70% came from me. I can't keep funding 100%. So if you want to see this test happen, simple. Buy books, buy the membership. And I'm not trying to upsell you. I'm just being straight up honest. I can't just keep digging in the pocket. You know, I got bills to pay too. So I would love to test. I would love for someone just to pay for me to test, but it just doesn't work that way. So, and I'm not asking Gary to do me free dyno work anyway, because guess what? He has bills too. He's got employees he's got to pay. It just isn't fair. So, and just to give you an idea, like this week I was on the dyno, um, a messed up deal, but um, I was on the dyno today. Well, that's another, you know, $750 lost. So, and not to mention, I'm a one man shop. So I got the other guys that kind of work, but they haven't because of their full-time job. So when I leave the shop for a day, there's nothing happening production wise, which means I'm literally not making money and spending money. So what I'm trying to say is all this stuff takes time because it takes me money to make it happen. Um, anyway, so that's the LS project. When that comes to fruition, oh, those results are gonna be absolutely cherry. Um, I really do believe that. The, it, for me, and I know I probably won't even get that many views. I bet you the videos only get like five or 6,000 views as, as at that one at all. But the information that goes with that, well worth it. Well worth it. Uh, even if I don't make a sin on that thing, that's going to be knowledge for you guys. Because even if you're not even an LS guy, you'll get to see, well, the difference in flow, how much actual power did it make? Um, and also, what did it do between the two camshafts with one bigger and one smaller? And also, really, how did it respond on boost? See what I'm saying? That's cool. Now, beyond that, the last project is a small block Chevy dyno mill as well. Gary switched and we, we switched pans mainly because the other one was leaking. It, it made a hell of a mess running on the dyno. And I'm not talking like it was leaking out the front seal, rear seal. It had like pinholes in it. So it would literally drip. Especially when it would get hotter, it would drip some, or actually when it's hotter, it would climb and close up. But if you let it cool off, like maybe we change an intake, you'd have a pretty good amount of oil. So pan got changed to a nicer Moroso steel one and I put a milling um, um, billet pump in it, but it's the one with the shark tooth and it's a standard volume. So I really need to re that just to see what the pump and pan did. And then that one, I need to um, test the supercharger on. So that's really where that one's going. So this way we can see also the difference between a small block Chevy with that same boost level versus the LS. Because I know some of you are asking about that. But I don't think you guys quite understand how much time that really does take. So I know in TV shows or shows on TV like Engine Masters, it seems like they're able to do it real quick. But what you don't understand is they their specific job is that. Their specific job is to make videos and do things. Mine is not. Mine is to port heads and cell heads and intake manifolds and camshafts and also answer the phone. So I it the amount of time it takes is really, really hard. And I can't just hire someone to do that because it – you would have to have knowledge from years and years of what I'm doing just to even do what I'm doing. And the same with the grinding. I'm not gonna hire someone to grind on heads. There's no way someone would wanna work for me to port heads, assuming they could do as good a job as me and me from, to get paid less than I'm getting paid because I'd have to do that in order for me to make money. It would just be stupid. So if I, if I hire someone, they're gonna be like doing valve jobs and stuff or assembly. So point being is that I can't, I'm stuck. So it is what it is. If I had a CNC machine, like the port heads, maybe it'd be different. So kind of, I really am envious of uh, Steve Morris. He gets those machines just humming, making money, and he could do videos. And I'm not knocking him at all, really. I'm more jealous. I really admire what he's done. Yeah, and he's got people working for him so he could play more around. So, but anyway, that's pretty much all the projects going on. You might ask about the Hemi. Uh, the Hemi is going to have to wait. There's just too much on the plate. Meanwhile, my son's car, I try to work on this every Sunday, but we've just been so busy as it is with his life and uh, things going on. I just haven't had time because really that engine needs to be in, but I haven't cleaned the transmission because Keith K1 was pretty dirty and put the shift kit in it so we could bolt it on and put it in. He still doesn't need to do the seam sealer on the seams in here. I mean, he needs to put the seam sealer and then we can put the hush mat and go from there. So yeah, and I loosely put in a seat as you you can kind of tell. 
it's too, the steering wheel is going to have to be cut and move forward. He's taller than I am by about two inches. This ain't going to work. Um, by the way, buy his shirts. This is what it looks like there, and this is what it looks like here. The money from the shirts actually pay for his car stuff. So, and they're nice shirts on my website. I'll put the, or my online store, I'll put the link in the uh, description. It's a nice shirt. It's probably the nicest shirt I've ever had made for my business, period. Even though it's so seriously wrong, but that's the name of his car. Um, yeah, it would help him, because that's the other thing. I, as a father, he's 17, by the way. So he just, he's about to finish his junior year. He's got one year left for me. So I'm trying my hardest to get this thing done for him so he could drive this summer. And then we can make it look pretty in the fall. And then by his senior year, maybe he could take his date to the prom, which brings up this happy moment for dad. So this is the dad part of the video. If you're going to stop watching anything technical, we'll just go to dad stuff. Um, totally get it if you want to stop watching. Just don't comment. Like, I hate when you talk. Don't do that. Just stop watching. My son, he had a swim banquet last night huge deal for me um i love his swim swim break which because all their swimmers they dress up in the, to the nines they're all wearing suits they look really professional which is really weird because you ever see them in swim caps it's just different um he didn't get any awards he did last year got a workhorse because he was like the hardest worker but we had a new coaching staff this year so they didn't do the same awards because the one he was really wanting to win which they didn't have this year was the uh, longest yard it's for the swimmer that swam the most amount of yards in competition, and that would have been him. So without a doubt, because he does the 500s and 200s and stuff. But anyway, they didn't do that this year. So they didn't have quite as many awards, which is fine. Um, he wasn't upset or nothing about that. But a lot of great swimmers. It was really a great time. He had an awesome time. He did get, this is huge. They had the vote for the team captains for next year. And the one male captain for Boca Arrow swim team next year is my son, Caden Weingartner. And I'm going to hopefully put his picture at the end of this. If not, I, then my editing sucks. Actually, I'm not because I don't have time. But you'll see it sometime. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. You heard me blab long enough. 17 minutes of this. Now you know what's going on. Yeah. Um, that dino session on Thursday really screwed me up. So I was all frustrated with that one. I almost went and bought another engine. Um, you know what's funny? It's the last time I had a uh, engine that messed me up, screwed me up on the dyno. I'm not making this up. There's a reason why the car's here. This car exists because of that. So it was like that 406 humbled me. That day, after it got done, I used every bit of savings I had, and I bought this car because the car came with the 477 big block because that 406 wasn't making any power on the dyno, and I was so mad at it. And it was, Cecil was the one that ends up owning that, but he could care less. He's such a nice guy. He truly is. And uh, anyway... I bought it because if he didn't run the times he wanted, I was going to just give him that 477. I was going to take back the 406. He ends up going faster than he ever had before after the engine update. So that ended up working. It was just a dyno fluke. But then because of that, I have the car and that 477, which is now the blower motor. But anyway, I had a problem with the dyno on Thursday, which I don't even know if I ever do a video on that. Um, I wouldn't say a problem. It made the most amount of power of any of the engines I've ever had on Dunsworth Dyno that's been a 23 degree small block Chevy, but it wasn't enough. But I almost went and bought another one. I almost did, but my wife's like, I'm, she put her foot down because I was like, you're not spending $11,000 just to see if you could make it better. So I was going to do it just to try changing some things to uh, see if I couldn't beat what it was there because it just didn't make any sense to me. But anyway, yeah, this week's been a, it, you need to own a, everything. I think everybody needs to own a small business. You'd be a little bit more grateful about others than when, whenever they're working their job and how hard it is to actually do things. I really do. Because when you're working for a man, you're like, screw that guy. He's just making money. When you're doing it yourself, you're like, you have, you get a bit more understanding, I guess you'd say. So, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I blabbed too long, but there's the updates on stuff. Watch the video on Monday so you can see the truck. Whoo! You can be like, you idiot. Because trust me, I thought the same thing. Okay, and I still think I'm an idiot, so that was dumb. But anyway, you guys, remember, I'm no Superman. I do not pour cast iron heads. You guys take care.